Hello, we know how to create your environments, we know how to manage those environments. So now let's try finding out how we can connect to the provisioned servers by SSH. We will firstly do it on the integration environment, that is for example our feature XYZ that we created in previous videos. And there we have only one instance of a server because it's a platform as a service environment. And we will try to also do it on the production environment, which is infrastructure as a service. And it means that we have three server instances to connect. So let's try to go to the cloud console and see how we can do it. All right, so we are in the cloud console and here you can notice that I'm already in the feature XYZ environment. And to simply connect to our environment server, we can click on the SSH button. And here we have two options. First is the Magento Cloud CLI and second is the direct SSH command. You have the option to copy one of those commands and paste it into your shell. But personally, I find it more convenient to use Magento Cloud CLI. It is context aware, so when you are in a shell within your project directory, all you need to do is type Magento Cloud SSH. And this command will then automatically retrieve the Git branch name and connect you to the appropriate environment server. And as shown here, you have the option to define certain parameters like project environment, uh, which can be used for accessing any environment from any location in the shell. So we can also do it, but if you are in the project directory, you can simply type Magento Cloud SSH and you are connected. And this is why I personally favor using the Magento Cloud CLI because it's so simple. You can, of course, utilize the SSH command if you prefer to do it, but it requires to provide username and host every single time and I find it like not the most convenient approach. So that's why let's use the CLI command. Let's copy that. Let's switch to shell. And you can notice that I'm in the project Fimo Pro 12 on the feature XYZ environment. So I simply paste the command. You can notice that we like specify the project um, ID, the environment feature XYZ, and we define uh, which application we want to connect. So let's try to do it. Let's wait a couple of seconds. And yes, we are in the feature XYZ environment. This is a confirmation that you are in the feature XYZ environment of project with the project ID. And of course, let's exit uh, from this. And if we type, as I said, Magento Cloud SSH, you can simply do the same. So if you are in the feature XYZ Git branch, you are automatically connected to the related environment. And simply by that, you are in the environment's server. So here you can run bin Magento commands, you can try using the ECE tools, you can check logs, access media, and so on. Thing to remember though, is that after our application is built, it's mounted on a read-only file system. So no one is basically able to change any code file or add anything unless you are in a directory that's mounted with read write file system. So if I, for example, try to add new file to this, to the, uh, let's see maybe first what directory we are in. So we are in the directory called app. Here is our Magento. Let's list it. So here is the default Magento directory structure. And if I try to add like a new file here, we will get an error saying that it is read only file system. But if you, for example, go to the var directory, which is mounted with the read write file system, we will be able to create a file called X. And if you are wondering code directories are configured in this way, you can check the Magento Cloud mount list command and let's basically do it. So let's disconnect from the server. Let's try typing magento cloud mount list and here is the list of mounts like directories that are configured to be mounted with the read write file system so we have var where the logs reports are stored app etc pub media and pub static and this list is not fixed because in the magento app yam file we are able to configure more 
read-write file systems for our directories here in the mount sections we are able to do it but we'll tackle it later in the dedicated video all right so we were in the integration environment server and as you remember this was platform as a service environment which means that it had only one instance of a server and right now let's switch to the production environment so let's do it by using magento cloud checkout production so we will see that the git branch is changed to production and right now let's maybe firstly try add the hell parameter here to see what options we have actually with the magento cloud ssh uh, so um, we can run directly some command if we type magento cloud ssh for example ls so we'll not be connected to the environment shell we will just run the comment and it will result in our local shell and of course we have some other examples here like to how to monitor the logs or we can simply display relationships i will try to do it later and um, the thing is the parameter instance is what i am looking for because where we have platform as a service we have only one server instance but with production environments we have three server instances if, if we switch back to our cloud console to a production environment and if we click on the ssh button we'll see that we have exactly three server instances and we can connect to each one of those simply by specifying the instance parameter so we can do the same in our shell let's try to do it let's try magento cloud ssh instance one for example and right now we are in the first instance of the production environment server so let's actually split this view and let's go to the uh, to the project again let's try typing magento cloud ssh but select the second instance and if we, for example, um, go to the var directory, which as you remember, is the read write file system mounted here, so we can create some files. Let's try creating a file called XYZ, for example. And this is the first instance. Here is the second instance. And let's see if that file was actually synchronized. So let's go to the var directory. And here we can see that exactly XYZ file was created here if you want to find out how it actually works you can check out my previous videos uh, where i explain the difference between platform as a service and infrastructure as a service there is more details there you can simply see here that it works all right so that would be it and simply by using the magento cloud ssh command we are able to efficiently switch and connect to different environment servers so thank you for watching and in the next video we'll talk more about the um, environments databases how they are configured how we can change the configuration and also how we can connect to those databases so thank you for watching and see you in the next one